MB and Plex are both great options for organizing all of your media, and both of them function in very similar ways, but today I want to figure out which of these is the best option. Hey, I'm Henry, and this is my video comparing MB and Plex. Just a quick note, if you haven't already, go ahead and watch my full overview of MB. In there, I talk about the basics to how it works and what features that it has. Anyways, so let's start with compatibility, but more specifically, compatibility with the server's software itself. So here's a list comparing the devices that MB is compatible with and the devices that Plex is compatible with. Both lists are very similar, but Plex has a couple more options listed on their website. I think it's important to note that just because the system you use is not listed doesn't mean it's not compatible. And of course, both of them are going to work just fine with the typical Windows or Mac computer. Next let's move on to ease of installation. This is a pretty quick and simple category because both MB and Plex have very similar installation processes. The only main difference is that MB gives you a couple more options to mess around with during the setup. Both of them can be installed in pretty much just around 3 minutes and both are pretty easy to get around. Alright, so now that we have all of the basic setup info taken care of, we can finally start talking about features and how the software works. In terms of UI and navigation, I would say that marking one down as better than the other would be unfair. Both of them navigate in pretty similar ways. Both of course pull banners and covers to better display all of your media. So what's different? Let's start off by diving deeper into the UI of MB. In my opinion, MB has a cleaner and less busy interface than Plex. The homepage is customizable to show whatever you want. I have mine set to show what I'm currently watching up top, then below that it shows my recently added movies, and then just below that it shows recently added TV shows. When you click on movies, it brings you to a simple and uncluttered interface that shows all of your movies. You can even select different options for how you want them to be sorted. When you click on a movie or a show itself, it shows you the actors and directors that took part in the creation of the movie. Then at the bottom, it shows other related movies. With MB, you can also select different themes for how you want the app to look. Some of those include Apple TV, Blue Radiance, Dark, Halloween, Light, and Windows Media Center. Alright, great. Now let's move over to Plex. Plex has somewhat of a different design, but it works in pretty much the same way. What I don't like about it is that it gives you very little customization options. And when they do let you customize things, it seems like you have to go through many hoops to get there. For example, the home screen options are very limited. I can't organize it like I do on MB. On the other hand, the movies menu is clean and simple and shows just the right amount of information. Plex apparently has options to theme the app, but from what I have seen, they make you go through some complicated processes to install them. So in my opinion, it's not even worth going through the work to do it. And I don't mean to bash the Plex interface, but for me personally, I find it somewhat annoying. I think it tries to help too much in organizing my stuff. For some people, they might really enjoy it, but for me, not so much. Alright, now that we have that stuff out of the way, we can start talking about some smaller things. I'm going to try and go rapid fire with this stuff, so get ready. Both Plex and MB have live TV and DVR support, but Plex has support for a couple more services when it comes to tuners. Both have optional subscription services, I'll talk more about that later. Both allow you to access your media outside of your network but both require you are subscribed to their subscription services to use it. Both support the ability to download your media to another device such as a phone, but again that requires you to be subscribed to their services. Both have support for third-party add-ons. I'll leave links in the description for a full list of those. Both have apps for TVs, Xboxes, phones, iPads, etc. And finally, both have Chromecast support. Whew, I think that's about it. 
for a second, I want to jump back into the subscription services that I mentioned earlier. MB has a service called MB Premiere. It allows for the use of some extra features that aren't included in the free version. It costs either $4.99 a month, $54 for a year, or $119 for lifetime access. If you want to learn more, check out the video I made up here. Plex also has a service. Theirs is called Plex Pass. It does pretty much the same thing, as extra features that aren't available for non-paying users. It costs $4.99 a month, $39.99 a year, or $119 for lifetime access. If you want to learn more, check out this video by Epos Box. Alrighty, I think that's all we need to know to come up with an answer. And I think the answer might be a little complicated. For me personally, I would choose MB. The customization and ease of use seems to be much better than Plex. Now for you, that may be different, and that's okay. So no, I don't think there's a definite yes or no to this answer. I think it all depends on your personal preferences. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more information on both of these services, check out some of the links in the description. Also, let me know if there's anything else you guys want to see. I'm open to anything. If you liked the video, maybe consider subscribing. And finally, thanks for watching.